There once was a samurai warlord. He was known as the Madman. For a reason. He was very cruel. He was very ruthless. And before he died he said, I will return to the world. And in 1991, he did. I'm 36 years old. And one of the nice things about being old as me now is most of your ar childhood arcade favorites are $10 or less. I think I got this game for $10. I used to play this all the time. I, I spent so much money on this game at the arcades when I was a kid. Because <laughs> at the time, th these were like really good graphics. The premise was cool. <clears throat> it was just a really cool game for its time. The combat isn't very deep though. <laughs> It's as simple as you're seeing it right now. Just get in front of stuff and smack them. What I mean by not deep combat is like, there's no real way to get good at this game. <laughs> this is a literal quarter muncher game. Like. It's hard because it it doesn't play like shit. But I don't know, I just Like it's really difficult to play this perfectly. And this is just the first stage, but as it goes on, like you're just gonna get hit left and right. And you're not gonna be able to do a damn thing about it. <laughs> You'll end up spending a lot of money trying to beat this game. See, like, like this guy. See, we're gonna we're gonna start trading hits if we fucking look at that. <laughs> it's bullshit. Oh, see, this guy too. Most of the samurais, you're gonna just start trading hits. <laughs> This is just the first stage, too. Now you'll end up spending a lot of money just trying to beat the first damn stage. Look at that. <laughs> Game's already over for me. But the game was so damn cool. I just played it so much. <laughs> it did not matter. It just didn't matter. Yep. <laughs> and the boss fights. Don't even get me started on the boss fights. Hey. I usually get bored with this game before I beat it. I usually get bored with this game around stage 2 or 3. Because <laughs> as I said, like, this is, this is all it is. It's so just... Smack them in front of their faces, that's all it is.
I want to at least. I'm already bored with the game. <laughs> and I'm running out of things to say, but I want to at least show you the first boss. Because the first boss is pretty cool, like, the way it all happens. Oh yeah. You get to transform into three different things. A samurai. And like it's generally nicer to have a sword instead of your bare hands. Because the, the sword has longer reach. Your odds of getting hit back is a little less. Like here, like these guys are perfect for fighting with the samurai. I'll be just out of their range. And as you can see, I can also be a ninja. Or a wolf. Yeah, I thought this was cool. We're suddenly on a bunch of running horses for some reason. <laughs> And I really dig on this boss fight song. You know what's funny? The other character you play as, if a second player joins in, it's a cowboy of some sort. <laughs> and he does Caparera. A cowboy Caparera. You don't get that anywhere else but in this game. <laughs> And every time you beat the stages, I like these little scenes. Like, who the hell is this guy? I deploy you. You will be the second boss. Actually, the ninja's pretty fucking awesome. See? <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. They can't hit you back. At all. <laughs> but I'm only allowed to be the ninja. Wh whoever you transform into, you'll only be able to be them for like a minute. I ran out though. But I'll, I'll have some more if I pick up those colored orbs again. And like once you get to the final boss, I kind of like that part because that was the first time I ever seen a, a boss try to appeal to you in some way because once you get to him like at the beginning of the fight he's just like I'll give you anything that you want join me <laughs> And that was the first time I ever seen a boss say something like that so I was like whoa that's kind of tempting, guy. 